Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 7.8 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 297 of your big book as we are doing the video. Um, lesson 7.8 is about subtracting with renaming and let me explain that here. We'll go with the unlock, unlock the problem. Bruce Chandler and Chase go bike riding on weekends. On one weekend, Chase rode his bike for three hours. Chandler rode her bike for two and one fourth hours, and Bruce rode his bike for one and one third, one and three fourths hours. How much longer did Chandler ride her bike than Bruce did? Okay, so we don't even need this information about how long Chase rode his bike because it's asking us to see how much longer, which tells us subtraction, Chandler rode than Bruce did. So two and one fourths minus one and three fourths. So we're going to use this model to help us find two and one fourth minus one and three fourths. So we're first going to shade the model to show how long Chandler rode the bike. Chandler rode for two and one fourths. So I gotta go all the way up to the two and one fourth. So I'll stop right here at the two and one fourth. And then, so all this is colored in. The second step would be to shade to show how long Bruce rode his bike, which was one and three fourths. So I find the one and three fourths and I shade up until there. So all this would be shaded in. And just like when we learned our last subtraction models, the way to see how much further Chandler rode than um, Bruce is to look at these spots that are empty and see how many that is. We're counting in fourths, so we've got one fourth two-fourths. So the difference is two-fourths. So Chandler rode her bike two-fourths hour longer than Bruce did. And if you want to get technical, you can simplify this fraction into one-half by writing it in its simplest form. So that's how to subtract using a model. And now let's try to do it by renaming fractions. So for instance, let's take the problem 5 and 1 eighth, and we want to subtract 3 and 3 eighths. So normally when we're doing this subtraction, we start with the fractions first, we would have 1 eighth minus 3 eighths, which is really like doing 1 minus 3. But we know in when we're doing subtraction, you can't do 1 minus 3 without first borrowing. So we're going to, and since we can't do it this way, what we're going to do first is we're going to rename the first mixed number. So we're going to basically borrow from this 5, make it a 4, and when we do that, we're taking a whole out of that. So we're adding on to this, what we borrowed is going to be adding on not just one, but eight eighths. That's how we say it in fractions. So now I'll really have nine eighths over here, four and nine eighths, and I'm subtracting three and three eighths. Now I can do the nine minus the three. So I will have 6 eighths, and I'll have 4 minus 3, which is 1. So my answer would be 1 and 6 eighths. So let's try that again. Let's say that we have, um, let's do 3 and 4 twelfths, and we want to subtract. 1 and 6 twelfths. So when we deal with the fractions first, we know that's like saying 4 minus 6. We can't do 4 minus 6 without borrowing. So we're going to borrow. We're going to change this 3 into a 2. 
which means I get to change it in not just for one, but a whole, a whole of this fraction, which would be 12 over 12. So now, really, instead of having four twelfths, I have four twelfths plus twelve twelfths, which equals sixteen twelfths. And now I can definitely do the sixteen minus the six. Sixteen minus six is ten, still twelfths. And then two minus one is one, so one and ten twelfths. Okay, so you can do this another way as well. Let's take the same problem, 3 and 4 twelfths, and we want to subtract 1 and 6 twelfths. Instead of using the borrowing method, I can use the method where I change these mixed numbers into regular fractions. So I do that just like we learned earlier in Chapter 7. I do 12 times 3, which is 36, plus the 4 is 40 still twelfths, and then I do it to the bottom number as well. Twelve times one is twelve, plus the six is eighteen twelfths, and then I just subtract. So forty minus eighteen is twenty-two twelfths. So I have twenty-two twelfths as my answer for that subtraction problem which we're going to have to change into a mixed number. So we're going to do 22 divided by 12. 12 fits into 22 one time, which leaves me 10. So my new fraction, my new mixed number, I'm sorry, would be 1 is my big number, 10 is my new numerator, and 12 is my denominator. So 1 in 10 twelfths would be my final answer. So that's the other method if you did not like the borrowing from the whole number method. You could change them into fractions in order to subtract and then change your final answer, your final fraction, back into a mixed number. Okay, so if you're in my class, the password for this lesson is Sleeping Beauty, and you should have filled out page 297. And if you have any questions, leave me a message.